So today I'm going to turn in a utility trailer into a kayak trailer slash utilities trailer. I have this utility trailer that is actually my brother's. I use it from time to time, but I want to use this for my kayaks and I also want to be able to move sheet goods. So really the first thing I need to do here is just figure out where these two by four braces need to go across the top. In a normal position, I'm gonna be storing the kayaks on, this, uh, on these two by fours upside down. That way the water can drain out of the kayaks. So I'm just kind of playing with the position, making sure I get in the right location so I can drill and tap some holes to hold the type two by fours. So I figured out the positions of the two by fours. It's roughly 57 inches in between the two by fours that fit pretty nice between my kayak. So I just cut down a couple spacers and I put them in between the two by fours. Now the front two by four, I'm measuring off about 16 inches from the front. And that gives me a really good position in between the uh, kayaks and the front and the rear of the trailer. So I cut those two by fours down to size and I also uh, kind of nipped off the, the uh, ends a little bit. That way they're not uh, square. And then I also put a uh, full quarter round all the way around the two by fours. And what I'm doing here is just getting the spacing right. That way I, when I uh, drill the holes for these two by fours through the trailer, it don't matter which two by four I put where, it's all gonna fit. So if I mix up the two by fours or flop them around, it'll still fit within the holes. So clamp the two by four so it don't move and then I'm gonna come back and drill through the two by four and the metal. That way I can tap a half inch bolt in the um, metal itself. So I figured this would be a good time to paint the two by fours just so they'd last a little longer. I'm not expecting them to last forever. These are untreated two by fours so uh, if I can throw a little bit of paint on there and get a couple more years out of it, I'm okay with that. Uh, right now I'm just putting some black primer on, on both sides, or all six sides I, I would say. And then I'll come back with some regular paint and paint it again. So I figure while the paint is drying I would tap these holes and uh, play with the trailer a little bit. Then my tap broke, or my tap handle broke. So I had to do this uh, the hard way, which was I ended up doing it with a wrench. I did try it with a drill and it just wasn't working very well. But uh, I, I ended up doing this with a 5 16 inch wrench. It worked, it was just a lot slower and a lot more difficult to keep that tap straight. So I need to go buy a new tap handle. So that primer dried really quick, uh, probably 20 minutes or so. So I went ahead and uh, started painting it. Now this is the only paint collar that I liked that I actually had in the shop. So I didn't go down and buy new paint or anything. I just used what I had. And while I was there, a buddy of mine came over and uh, we was talking about tomorrow's kayak trip. So this is me just putting the uh, second coat of paint on the two by four, and then uh, this will be ready to go. So I already got uh, one of these braces on. This is the second one. I'm just holding it down with half inch bolts. Uh, they are stainless steel. I used a washer as well. And then um, that was pretty much the insulation. Just uh, four bolts to hold these two braces on and uh, tighten them down a little bit. And that was pretty much it. So we set the kayaks up there and took a look at them. And it actually is going to work out really, really well. I actually like storing them like this better but you can't store them like this uh, for a long period of time because the rainwater gets in there and um, the sun beats down on the seat and all that other stuff. So you have to store these upside down if you're going to leave them on the trailer. But uh, you know you can load them up and go to the water and tie them down this way. Um, I had a lot of visitors this day, I think, but you can. Uh, tie it down this way, load up your kayak, and that way when you get to the water, it's ready to go. So just a couple more things I wanna do. I wanna put these little uh, eye hooks in. And I just pre-drilled a hole and then uh, sunk these in with quarter inch lag bolts. Uh, I couldn't find stainless steel lag bolts, but these will work fine, they're galvanized. And I uh, just put uh, three of these on each one of the two by fours 
one in between the kayaks and then one on each end. All right, so that uh, pretty much takes care of the kayak trailer. Uh, just a couple two by fours and some simple uh, hardware. And I got a pretty nice system for moving the kayaks to the water. Um, I will store the kayaks on the trailer, but I will do that upside down. The reason they're this way right now is because the paint on the two by fours is still wet. So I didn't want to get the paint on the top of the kayaks. I don't really care about the bottom too much. So that's why they're that way. But when I come back or the next time, uh, they'll be flipped upside down so they'll so the water can drain out of them. And I can just store them right there and I don't have to tarp them or anything. Couple different reasons I did it this way. A, it's real cheap. Uh, just a couple two by fours and a few bolts. Uh, I had everything else. Uh, I did have to buy some new straps because all the other ones I had was just tore up. So, you know, straps and two by fours and a little bit of hardware uh, works out great for this system. The other reason I did it this way is I could still use underneath for a sheet of plywood if I want to go down to the hardware store and buy a sheet of plywood. I can slide it underneath the kayaks without even taking the kayaks off. So that was the other reason I wanted to do it this way. Uh, the reason I tapped the bolts instead of putting a nut in there is just in case if I need to remove them quickly. I bought a cheap adjustable wrench that I'm going to store in this box and uh, it'll just stay in there and if I need to tighten them or take them off or put them on or whatever off site I can do that real easy with an adjustable wrench and not worry about losing the nut for the bolt itself. Um, this, uh, I didn't really have to put those little uh, eye hooks down there for the straps. I could have easily just wrapped it around the two by four, but I thought that gave a more finished look and more professional look, I guess. Um, not that it really matters on this old beat up trailer, but um, it, it's just a little nicer. That's basically it. And it didn't cost very much. They were four bucks, so that's why I did it. And so I think that's it. I got to tear all this stuff apart because I got to use the trailer to move a couch here in about an hour. So that's why I only strapped it down once. So I'm going to take it all off, move a couch, and then put it all back on. And then uh, uh, I'll be done. And then I can pretty much store this like this uh, for as long as I need to. Or if I need to remove it, it's easy enough to do that. That's all I got for you this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time. It's gonna work out great. <laughs>